Today in Northern Revolutions, I'm going to show you some albums that were recorded by artists while they were still part of a band. It's a contest entry from Jack from the Vinyl Martini. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Revolutions. I'm Rob. Welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm doing a contest entry today. I just discovered this channel a couple days ago. Jack, the final martini, fellow Canadian. I believe he's in uh, Victoria, British Columbia, the opposite end of the country from me. I discovered this channel uh, from a contest entry that was done by my friend Mike, MGK Boston. He did an entry for this contest. And I'm actually kind of going to steal a couple of Mike's albums, sort of. Stay tuned, you'll find out why. So I went and checked out Jack's channel, and it turns out a lot of my other good friends in the vinyl community are, are already subscribers of Jack's. Mike, PC31, The Vinyl Policeman, Brian over at Embryonic Robot, and a few others. So I'm late to the party. Sorry, Jack. I apologize for that. But nevertheless, I'm very intrigued by your contest. Jack would like us to show three to five albums that were recorded by an artist while they were still a member of a band. Not after the band broke up, while they were in a, you know, while the, during the band's recording career, they recorded a solo album. So that's what he would like to see. And one thing that I really like about Jack's contest Rather than give away a you know an Amazon gift card like most of us do, he's going to contribute a hundred dollars to his local food bank in honor of whomever is the winner, and I think that is an amazing idea. So, that's off to you, Jack. In the meantime, uh, please join my video, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description for Jack's channel. Please check him out. Um, he's trying to reach two hundred subscribers. He's going to get there easily and deserves to be a lot higher than that. So show Jack some love. Okay, so let's get into this. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna have a fair amount of Canadian content on this. This wasn't intentional. Uh, Jack should appreciate a lot of these. I think he probably has heard of many of them, I think. I didn't do that purposefully. I just had very few artists where I had their solo record and the record from their band. So I apologize for that in advance. How Canadian of me to apologize. So what we do. I'm going to start off with one that everybody knows. This is Steven Tyler's uh, solo album, We're All Somebody from Somewhere. This came out in 2016. I seem to recall that Steven billed this as his country album. This sounds exactly like you would expect it to sound. It's Steven Tyler doing rootsy rock. I don't think it's very country. But uh, not a bad album. He covers Aerosmith's JD's Got a Gun, and it's not very good. And he also covers Janis Joplin's Peace of My Heart. Not bad. The rest are originals. I like it. Obviously, everyone knows that Steven Tyler was... Lead singer of Aerosmith that has been for uh, 50 years. <clears throat> this was Aerosmith's last album from 2012. The stinking pile of garbage that is music from another dimension. This album's shit. Um, but this was Aerosmith's album from 2012. Steven's album came out in 2016. They have not recorded anything new since then. But Aerosmith has been doing their Las Vegas Las Vegas residency for several years now. So they're certainly not broken up. Haven't recorded anything new since then. But technically, he's still a member of Aerosmith. He's still performing with them. So Steven Tyler's uh, We're All Somebody From Somewhere and Aerosmith's Music From Another Dimension. Adam Baldwin, his self-titled release from 
2013, I've shown this before, I love this, Adam Baldwin is one of, he's in my top three favorite musicians right now and has been for years. I think he's amazing. This is his self-titled EP. I've talked about it before. It's very Springsteen-esque. Springsteen's his hero. He makes no bones about it. If you like Springsteen rock and roll, like from the from the 80s, here you go. Uh, for those who don't know, Adam is the lead guitarist for Matt Mays. Matt Mays is a, a rocker that was actually born in Hamilton, but raised in Nova Scotia. I love Matt Mays. Uh, like I love Adam Baldwin. I said for years, Matt Mays was making the best rock and roll in Canada. This is his 2012 album, Coyote. So just after this was released, Adam went to work on his solo record. Adam has released uh, four solo records since then. And, and with Matt Mays, there's been, I believe, four studio Matt Mays albums as well. So Matt Mays and Adam Baldwin. Remember I said I'm kind of going to steal from the entry that Mike and MGK Boston did? What are you going to do? Although Mike lives in Boston, he is a Canadian. So he's a big fan of Blue Rodeo, as I am. Talk about them all the time. Uh, Mike mentioned that uh, Blue Rodeo is, the core of that band is the, the two front men, the singer-songwriters Jim Cuddy and Greg Keeler. I like to say their candidate is Lennon McCartney. That's a very fair analogy. Um, Jim is the more radio friendly, uh, poppy like McCartney, and Keeler is the deeper introspective Lennon. I think that is a very, very fair analogy. They, with Blue Rodeo, have put out 14 studio albums and two live albums, I believe. And I believe Greg has six solo records. And I think Jim has five. So I'm not going to show the same ones that Mike showed. I'm going to show different ones. So we're going to do this chronologically. This is Jim Cuddy's third solo record, Skyscraper Soul. Um, it's okay. Mike showed an album called All in Time from 1999. Absolutely phenomenal. For me, Skyscraper Soul is kind of, yeah. I don't listen to it that much, to be quite honest. It's not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just very formulaic Jim Cuddy. Um, I, critical is not the word, but I mentioned that I really think Jim's songwriting in the last decade has kind of fallen into a pattern. Easy for me to criticize, I can't write a song for shit. And this guy's got more Junos than I think almost anybody. Nevertheless, there's nothing really exciting on here for me to listen to. It's a great uh, Roots Rock record. So that Jim Cuddy record, which came out in 2011, was after the band Blue Rodeo had released this, which is called The Things We Left Behind. This is a very interesting record. Um, <clears throat> it's a double LP. Uh, not because they wanted to fit it across. You know, you sometimes take a single record and spread it over two records for sound quality. No, that's not it. They did it because there is uh, like 18 songs on here. It is truly a double, a full length double album in the traditional sense of the word. And they did this in, in 2009. This is just, just pre-vinyl resurgence. And they did this to make a point that the album isn't dead anymore. You know, there were a lot of artists. I remember in the, in the press when they were releasing this album, you know, they made mention that, you know, Coldplay had said the album is dead. We're only going to put out singles. And Blue Radio wanted to buck that trend and put out a double album on vinyl. So this is designed to be listened to on vinyl. It's four distinct sides. They each kind of have a mood. It's kind of a um, afternoon, evening, night, morning is sort of the concept behind it. <sighs> that said, I like about half of this record. The nighttime stuff for me 
is a little too plodding, a little too subdued, uh, doesn't hold my interest as much. So, you know, I like half of this record, but I give them props for what they were trying to do with this. So after they recorded this, Jim recorded this. Moving now to the second half of the Jim Cuddy, Greg Keeler songwriting duo that is Blue Rodeo, Greg Keeler. Mike showed uh, Gone, which was Greg's first solo record. I'm going to show this one, which is called Last Winter. Now, this came out in 2018. Technically, this is an EP. Um, this, <clears throat> if you are expecting Blue Rodeo, you will not get this out of this record. This is Greg being very introspective, very melodic. Uh, he just, he described these as kind of like almost, uh, like meditative type songs. This was a collaboration between him and Jim Boskill, who had just joined Blue Rodeo. He replaced, uh, my friend Bob Egan when he retired and Jim Boskill has been with the band ever since. He and Greg have hit up a, a nice creative partnership and they worked on Greg's subsequent album to this called Share the Love. This is, is interesting. I don't not like it, but it's not something that I put on and spin often. I've got to be in the mood for it, but it's it's nice. It's, it's acoustic, melodic Greg Keeler. Nothing like Blue Rodeo. And as I said, this came out in 2018 which was just after Blue Rodeo had released this album, Thousand Arms, uh, which came out in 2016. This was a good, this is a really good record. I have criticized Blue Rodeo that the latter decade, decade and a half, the material has been <clears throat> lackluster relative to the first part of their career. And that says a lot because it's still good stuff. But the beginning, the first 15 years of their career was incredible. Pretty hard to maintain that. They've kind of, maybe in their old age, they've kind of stuck in a rut. I don't know. But this this kind of breaks out of this. This feels more like an early Blue Rodeo record, Thousand Arms. This is the last record with my good friend Bob before he retired. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of a return to form. It, it's very you know, electric, it's very poppy rock country. It's uh, got a lot of those Jim and Greg vocal harmonies that had been missing for years that are very indicative of the early Blue Rodeo stuff. So Thousand Arms came out in 2016. And Greg Keeler last winter came out in 2018. There you go, Jack. There's my solo artists that released albums while they were in bands. I'm sorry for everyone outside of Canada that has no idea who any of these people are. I'm sorry, that's all I had. I didn't have anything um, beyond my Steven Tyler and Aerosmith. So hope that's a good enough entry for you, Jack. Please, everyone, check out Jack, the Vinyl Martini. I will leave a link to his channel. Please check him out. Give him a subscribe so that he can get his goal of 200 subscribers. Thank you everybody for watching. Catch you on the flip side.